Welcome to Brandon Socket. Today we're continuing on with segmenting your age data within DealerSocket Blackbird CRM on exporting data and then using an Excel macro workbook that I've created. It's available now if you need it, let me know. We'll get it out to you. And basically you pull the information, put those uh, worksheets within this workbook, hit a command key and boom, it does the rest for you. So let's get started. We're gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you within DealerSocket where you're gonna go to pull the information. So we're on a demo site and basically uh, on any site really, you're gonna go to your marketing tools, which is the pie chart on the left. Uh, this is gonna be a manager or an administrator of some sort. So salespeople, you don't have access to this. You're then gonna pull list builder. When I click on list builder, you are going to select category vehicle and you're only gonna select two things out of here. Number one, model is like, so I'll use cruise for this example hit save and a little further down is purchase date purchase date could be as long as you want or as little as you want I want to see the last few years rather than 10 years I want to see more relevant information I'm gonna pull a smaller data set so I'm gonna go save so those are the only two fields you need you're then gonna hit run top left and once the information appears, and depending on the number of uh, people you pull, this may take a little longer to load up, you're going to hit select all up on the left here, and then come to the export button. And we're going to export this into Microsoft Excel. And so you notice some of these boxes are ticked off. That's because I've done it a couple times. I, I want to make sure that you hit clear all the first time you do this, because there's 15 boxes I need you to check off, 10 on the entity side and five on the vehicle. So the 10 on the entity are going to be First name, last name, city, state, postal code, work, uh, work, mobile, home, email, and off to the right, birth date. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the vehicle section, I'm gonna go VIN, year, make, model, and purchase date. So those are my 15 boxes. You're then gonna click create spreadsheet. Okay. What it's going to do is it's going to pull up your worksheets to look so something like this. M my data bracket some number. Okay. I've blanked out the information because this is actual live data from a dealership. Okay. So what you need to do here, this is the manual sort of part. You're going to uh, open up the macro workbook uh, and have it in the background. And then you're going to pull this data and you're going to right click on this tab. And you're going to go move or copy. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to say move selected worksheets to the Brandon socket macro segmentation data. You're going to click on formula page and you're going to go, okay. So what it's going to do, it's going to take this page 96 and move it before the formula. So I'm going to go, okay. There you go. It's in between the two. I'm then going to select my next workbook. So here is uh, 97 again, right click move or copy select the workbook and where you want it to go okay so that's 96 so i need 95 so here's 95 right click move or copy select the workbook select formula page hit okay so here's my data my formula page which is something i need so don't touch formula page and your segmented data the only steps you need to do that are extremely important, aside from the 15 uh, column headers, you need to rename these tabs. Sheet one, no space. Sheet two, no space. Sheet three. Once we run the macro, you can then come to those sheets and change them. This is the only, this is the only consistent, this is the only way I, I, you know, I can't just select this sheet because you can move them around. When you click the segmented data tab, all I want you to do is you can click anywhere, I don't care where, and you're gonna hit Control G and you're done. So there's the data, okay? I'll scroll down a bit so we can see it all. So what it does is it takes all your data sheets, puts it into an age range, don't worry about blank birthdays, it'll fix that automatically, and it gives you your total. So sheet one is whichever vehicle and 18 to 24 year olds at time of purchase this is the number or percentage that purchased. So now with this information and you understand the date range you pulled, you can market to these different age groups differently. So, you know, my understanding of Google is this 18 to 24, 
not a big home run hitter, right? 14%, that's decent. It's higher than 35 to 44. So with these two brackets, I might do awareness and consideration, uh, very cost effective campaigns to get myself in the game for that person, right? And it, it depends on the vehicle, I understand that. But why not get them in the game here to increase this 2% to 4, 6, 8%, which is then gonna increase 25 and 34. If we can get them young, maybe they buy it earlier and they don't wait till they're 65 plus, whatever vehicle this is. So really important data to understand and to use and experiment with different date ranges you know, check a life, check a 10 year uh, span versus a three year span. You can reuse the workbook, just insert the tabs, just follow these steps. Um, and please uh, leave me a comment if you've used it, uh, just you reach out. Uh, I'm real pumped up about this, about this macro workbook. I hope it helps a lot of you dealers here change up your marketing plan. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, like, share, comment, and please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to come up with some daily or sorry, weekly content that every dealer, every salesperson, every service advisor, manager can use. Uh, yes, we're working on some service stuff down the road, but uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it and we'll see you soon.